When people cross the covered bridge at the Bascom, which is a 200 year old bridge that was transported here from the, the Northeast um, and reassembled, pulled in place with oxen, you already, you automatically get the sense of the, the difference here. We have this beautiful six acre campus. Um, our facility as it currently stands was built in 2009 with mostly 200 plus year old barn wood. The number one comment we get when people visit is that they are stunned by the, the facility itself. Um, it's something to behold architecturally. It's very unique. Bascom was founded in 1985 and it was in the Hudson Library until we moved to this campus in 2009. It's a visual arts center that offers free exhibitions throughout the year, um, an expansive educational program in the visual arts, and then an outreach program for members of the community. The, the building we're in is uh, actually the, was the main building or the primary building on the property when the, the members who the search committee found. It's called the Crane Riding Stable. They deconstructed this building um, and scooped six tons of manure out of the, off the floor here and then uh, poured the concrete slab, reconstructed the building with the, uh, with the original boards facing in and then faced it with another on the outside. When I came here as the first resident artist over the last six years, what I've been do doing is developing the, uh, the programs, Open Studio, our resident artist series, uh, the Art by Appointment, which has become very popular, our workshop series, and then the, uh, the youth pottery program that we have. You can't help but come into the barn and be inspired to want to make something, um, no matter what walk of life you come from. I love making functional stuff. I like for it to have a use. I think paintings are great. You know, you get to look at them and like there's a whole technique involved in conceptual work. But you know, painting stays on the wall. They don't want you to touch it. You know, a functional object like a, like a mug or something. I mean, I can hold this in my hand. I can put the stuff that I need into it and I can drink out of it and like it's mine. One of our best programs is the Art by Appointment. And so anybody can walk in off the street. They can get inspired by the look of what we have going on in here. All they have to do is make an appointment for an hour and a half. They can come in and work. And you can see the excitement from them uh, of having the opportunity to come in and, and to take a class in a professional studio without any kind of experience uh, because we cater to beginners is, 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 uh, is, is rewarding for me, but also is great for them because, as I said, most of these folks are, are retired and they have maybe wanted to try art sometime in their life, clay or whatever medium that happens to be, but when they came to the Bascom and they found the studio barn, it actually gave them a, you know, a pass to come in. Highlands is a great place to live. It's a small town, but it feels like a much bigger town because of the extensive arts and culture. I mean, people travel from all over the country to come here to eat and shop. We do live at 4,200 feet. Everything is downhill, but there's lots of waterfalls, lots of hikes, and then people come to Highlands now because they want to get involved with art. Uh, and so the Bascom is like kind of moving into that realm of, of, of helping people get engaged with art, not only in the viewing of it, but also in the making of it. I'm very fortunate to work at the Bascom, and I'm very fortunate to live in Highlands. This is um, a very rewarding job. Um, I get to work with youth, adults, seniors. Um, it's an ever-changing population that comes through here, but probably my favorite thing is we have so many repeat students and visitors. It's almost like family. And to me, working at the Bascom is really about the community and the people here in Highlands.